Common Breeds, Sheep and Goats Day 2 of the ASK Show Sam is eager for more knowledge and food I wonder where Mr. Wallace is Going once, going twice, sold! I hear him Better go see if it's almost his break Alright ladies and gentlemen We are pausing for our midday break See you back here for the afternoon sales Oh hi Sam Hello Perfect timing, eh? What did you just sell? A whole lot of sheep. Going to make a pretty little commission too. Why would people want sheep? Sheep are primarily used for their meat and wool production or both. The wool helps make cloth material. Okay, it's a livestock animal, so there are different breeds and names for the ages and sexes then. Correct. Lamb is a young one of a sheep. A ram is a mature male sheep. And you is a mature female sheep. Me? No, you. Now, look and study at the parts before we move on. Thanks. Where do we start with the breeds? Which one is more interesting to start with? Meat breeds. We will start with the wool breeds then, so you don't tune me out later. <sighs> okay. The highest quality wool comes from a merino sheep. It is from Spain, but is now located around the world. It mates with the red Maasai sheep to make an offspring that does well in semi-arid areas. And its characteristics? Relax. Small in body, drooping rump, white wool, hooves and horns, and the muzzle is flesh colored. Do some research to get a better grasp. I don't feel like going over it all. Now meat? Now meat. Sheep's meat is called mutton. These breeds have very poor quality wool and include the Dopa, Blackhead Persian, and the Red Maasai Sheep. And all of them have the same origin? Not really. Dopa is regarded as indigenous because it was developed through crossing Dorset Horn and Blackhead Persian Sheep. It is white in color with a black head and it's highly adapted to hot and dry conditions. What about Blackhead Persian? Is it a crossbreed too? Uh, although popular breed in hot and dry conditions, Blackhead Persian is a pure breed that comes from Arabia. It has the same appearance as Dopa except it is polled. You must know something about the Red Maasai sheep since it is very popular breed red in Kenya. Hmm. Is it red to white in color with hair covering its body? Correct. And it has been extensively crossbred with the merino sheep. Enough of meat breeds. Now, I would like to name a few breeds of sheep that are kept for both wool and meat. These are the dual purpose breeds. I'm listening. Good for you. Now, you see the sheep over there? That is a Romney Marsh breed kept for both its wool and meat. Yes, and it has a wide head and a chest with short legs. So you need to say it's a dual-purpose breed. Exactly. Others of that kind include Corridiel and Hampshire Down. Be sure to study their general characteristics, some of which I will jot down for you, okay? As you say, boss. Good. Do you have any more questions? Hmm. At least not about sheep, but something else I just remembered. Is it true, Mr. Wallace, that goat milk is consumed by humans? Honestly, I was shocked when I heard so. Oh, Sam, you are very interesting. Goat milk is very healthy. In fact, healthier than cow milk. But first, you need to know how to call goats of varied ages and sexes. Everyone knows that. A young one of a goat is a kid, a mature female a nanny or a doe, and a mature male is a billy or buck. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, look at the chart for different parts of a goat. Now, goat breeds are classified into dairy, meat, and hairy goat. Hairy goat? Yeah. They are kept for their special hair called mohair. However, they are not very popular because they are prone to internal parasites. The only breed in this category is the Angora, which originated from Angora, that is in Asia. Wow. And the milk goats? I'd rather you call them dairy goats. These have high milk production capacity. They are further subdivided into temperate or exotic and tropical or indigenous dairy goats. 
The temperate breeds include Sanin, Togenberg, and British Alpine. I will briefly describe each one. Mm-hmm. Now, Sanin is a white-colored goat which originated from Switzerland. Mm-hmm. The Togenberg goat also came from Switzerland but is brown in color with the white stripes on the head. It is a popular breed in Kenya. And finally is the British Alpine, which came from Britain. Hmm, Britain. And I'm guessing the indigenous dairy goats originate from here? Essentially, yes, but that's not entirely true. For example, Jamna Parigod is a crossbreed from India and is horned. Anglo-Nubian, on the other hand, has long legs, flopping ears, and is polled. Where polled means no horns, right? Definitely, yes. Ever eaten goat meat? Yes, several times. Why? Because the best goat meat from meat goats. I ain't sure I follow you on this, mister. Okay. Meat gods are kept specifically for their meat. The common ones include the gala and the boa. The gala is very popular in the hot and dry areas of Kenya. Its body is white with high quality meat. And the boa is from the South Africa. The boa ruled South Africa according to our history class. You are absolutely correct. It was later imported to East Africa and it has gained popularity because of its ability to sire twins or triplets and grows very fast. <sighs> All right, Mr. Wallace, this is your break, right? When are we taking a break? Can't promise, but if you behave yourself, I can buy you your favorite Fanta. I guess you're thirsty by now. Please do me the honor. Here you go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> 